Um, Achal Prabala, we were hoping to speak to you earlier, and I believe you're back with us again now. Um, I was asking you about civil society and the, the role that civil society can have, not just uh, in the in this particular um, technology access pool, but also just in response to COVID-19 in general. Yeah, well, look, uh, civil society has a, a limited role to play here. Civil society can put pressure on national governments, and national governments, especially those governments which have the capacity to, to manufacture tests and treatments and vaccines who also have the political will to do what they need to do with intellectual property monopolies can, can make some efforts to uh, do their bit to contain the pandemic. But the truth is that we need the COVID-19 technology pool to succeed because it's really the best shot that the world has. Uh, the, most countries in the world don't have the capacity to be able to manufacture what they need, even without the presence of monopolies that will thwart their ability to do so. But in saying so, we need to have a couple of things in place. The first is participation. We need to have the participation of rich countries. And along with that participation, we need to have uh, the leverage that rich countries have in terms of their investment and buying of medical technologies so that they can then contribute to the pool. But we also need to look at the scope of the pool. In the past, a lot of access licenses have uh, have been sa have been satisfied to stop at poor countries at getting access to poor countries. I think what we need to look at here is getting access to poor people wherever they live, whether they live in poor countries, whether they live in what are called middle income countries, or indeed whether they live in rich countries. I think if we go by the access models of the past, they've failed primarily because they have failed to reach the vast numbers of poor people in a highly unequal country like Brazil, for instance, simply because it's classified as middle income as a middle income country, and it's assumed therefore that uh, they have better access to buying drugs on the market or vaccines on the market, where in fact they don't. 